There's a misconception that energy has to be very expensive. For example, we pay about 20 cents per mile to drive a gasoline vehicle around. Um, I am far below a penny per mile. It's top speed somewhere between 40 and 45. I can do about um, somewhere between 16 and 24 miles per, per charge, and acceleration is quite a bit faster than traffic. I, I kind of equate it almost to like a magic carpet where you just twist the throttle and the acceleration is the same regardless of speed with no added noise. So it's very surreal to ride. Solar is just supplementary, but if someone came along and was starting to fill up your gas tank, would you get mad if they didn't fill it up all the way? I will be more than doubling the power output, probably in, more in the orders of tripling, quadrupling, or more. Um, shooting for over 100 horsepower, uh, over 100 miles an hour, and probably quite a bit more range, at least 60 miles, maybe 100. Um, there's a lot more you can do with electric vehicles that I wasn't able to do on this bike. I've learned a lot building this one, and I feel like now I'm ready to make quite a bit of a game changer. After I graduate from undergrad, I would like to get into a small startup company and start my own, um, probably with electric vehicles, whether it's motorcycles, cars, or whatever yet remains to be seen. After that, um, I would like to start a not-for-profit energy company as a side project. If we assume gas is not infinite, that's a pretty logical assumption to make. We need to go to some other new kind of energy source in the future, whether that's going to be uh, nuclear, fusion, fission, um, alternative sources like solar or wind. It's going to be a lot easier to charge a vehicle off an electrical grid. Electric vehicles, in general, are four to five times more efficient than internal combustion. And that, that's, that's a big difference. They are not a solution to our energy problems. However, they are a piece of the puzzle, and they will the, their peace will become a lot more apparent as we switch to new energy sources in the near future, hopefully.